About four months ago, I posted a video where I decided to learn how to code in Godot and used Godot's own tutorial on how to make a 2D video game to create my very first video game. Excited after creating Dodge the Creeps, I decided to go use some other tutorials that I could find online and create Pong. And then I got COVID and I kind of forgot about it for four months. But yesterday I finished coding Pong and I am excited to tell you guys about it. So for this in particular, I used the tutorial made by Godot Tutorials, which is a YouTube channel here. It was a little bit of a struggle at some points because Godot Tutorials uses Godot 3 to teach this tutorial and I am using Godot 4. You really wouldn't think that there was much of a difference between those two, but there were some points, especially in the text that you see on screen, where I had to kind of figure it out as I went. Um, and teach myself that instead of using the tutorial itself. One of the biggest issues that I had in coding Pong actually was that I kept running into this problem where every single time that you would score or your rival would score, it would count the score twice. And to be fair, I never quite figured out what was wrong there. I ended up coding in a variable where after you had scored, it would switch to true, and then it would count the score, and then it would switch to false and restart all over again. But otherwise, I could not figure out what the actual problem was. Sort of one of those things where I decided, you know what, it's not a bug, it's a feature, and I will just code around it, because I don't know what I'm doing. Another thing that was very surprising about Pong in particular was how detailed it is behind the scenes and how much work I had to put into this. You know, when you're thinking about Pong, you're just thinking of like the two paddles on either side, the ball goes between the two. One thing that I hadn't considered is that depending on where you hit the paddle, the ball goes in a different direction. If you hit it on the top, the ball goes up. If you hit it on the bottom, the ball goes down. Everyone thinks they're really cool until their tutorial pulls out trigonometry and they're what? But all in all, coding Pong was definitely an interesting experience. I feel like I've learned a lot in this and I am excited to make some more games like this. This is going to be another project much like Dodge the Creeps where I'm not going to post it online because it's Pong. I mean, everybody knows Pong. I didn't do anything particularly exciting or different in this. I was just basically doing the basics, just Pong, by itself. My next project I'm thinking is going to be a short and somewhat simple RPG. I have three different tutorials that I'm looking at, kind of to judge um, which one I want to use, which one is better for my learning style and seems not necessarily easier, but something that I am more able to understand. I'm thinking just one more project where I kind of focus, sit down with a tutorial and see the way that they build it and they guide me through doing something like this before I move on and do things by myself. You know, with Dodge the Creeps, it was very much me learning the program, the basics. Pong um, feels more like me actually coding a game, even though Dodge the Creeps was a game, but me actually coding a game and getting to this point where at the end I can be like, this is a fully formed video game. And I want to do just one more project to make sure that I'm understanding the concepts, have those sort of rails in place so that I don't mess up somehow and don't know how to recover. And then after that, focus on making my own games, perhaps. I'm really excited for the future, and I hope that you guys are as well. That's pretty much all I can say on Pong. I did it. I coded it. Check this out, me playing the game in the background. And now I will move on to a different exciting project. That's going to be it for this video though, so 
Thank you for watching this very short video. I hope that you enjoyed it regardless. I hope that you are excited in the future to see what else I do on this somewhat slow journey. And I will see you next time for that RPG I'm talking about. I have no plans as of right now of what it's even going to look like, but we'll figure that out along the way.